All right, people, Big Ed here, working on the front end of my 1993 Harley Electric Glide FLHS. I did, uh, I took the legs out. I did this one just a few minutes ago to see how, how it was gonna be. I've never done one before. And um, let me tell you, that son of a bitch was a bitch. But the hardest part, it right there the hardest part about it is getting that let me get some better lighting sorry amateur at work the hardest part was getting this top back in because you got the load of the spring and the spacer and i found it helps to wear gloves stand up when you do it It'd probably be better if you had two people. Oh shit. Yeah, it'd be better if you had two people, but uh, I did it by myself. And like I said, it took me about 10 15 minutes. I'm hoping the next one I'm fixing to do that one right there. I'm hoping that one goes a little bit easier. Um, but what I did was. Took the plug out, pulled the old spring out. There's the old spring right up there. It's gonna, don't freak out if you do this kit because the old spring is a lot longer than the new one. But the gap in between the spring is a lot wider than the new one. Plus you're gonna have a spacer. My spacer is 1.25 inches, but some of them are three, some are, are more. I don't know if you can see this, but this tells you the bike. You look up your bike. And it'll, sh it'll show you what the do the preload at. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But um, they give you instructions and stuff too. But um, there's a good video. There's a lot better video out there than mine. Mine's not really a how-to video. I'm just showing you my struggles and stuff working on my bike. My journey on being able to ride. But uh, yeah, the hardest part I found was putting the plug back in. Because you got to push down and try to screw it in at the same time and get a couple bites on that thread once you get a couple bites on that thread then you'll be all right um yeah this is what the spacer looks like it's basically pvc pipe they give you two of them in the kit there's another one you can cut them to however long you want but um I'm fixing to try to do this one. And what I found on this, I put a rag over, I loosened it up while, I loosened up the top nut here while it was in the forks or the triple trees. And now I've got a wrench and a rag over it. And I found it works better to hold it in one place up here. Don't try to turn, turn that top bolt out. Just hold it in place. And then with your left hand, unscrew it and just keep pressure. It'll, it's going to pop a little bit whenever it kind of startled me at first because I'd never done one before. I'm a little nervous. About, I, I'm still nervous about doing them, even though it ain't really that bad. But uh, here goes. I hope y'all can see it. I've already loosened it.
There it goes. So hold with this hand, turn with the bottom hand. There's the spring, I'm gonna have to get a rag. There's the top plug. I done spilt a lot of oil from the first one I was doing. I had it between my legs. I went to grab the spacer and fork tipped over. But um, oh yeah, I was gonna tell you. Let's see. Um, get lowered cycles has a good video on this. He's got a real good clean video. He's more like a professional than I am. Um, that, that's what I've used uh, as reference for doing this because I've never done a front end before. So I found his video to be really good. He's doing a Road King, but it's basically the same thing. But you still want to read your instructions when you get them. Now they said on the springs it don't matter which way they go. But they did say that if you put the tighter wound in, in first... They said they're a little bit quieter. So. And my oil needs to be. From this top edge right here. Down to the oil. It needs to be five and a half inches. On mine. Uh, according to the instructions. And I, like I said. I've already got my spacer cut out. You have to collapse. You gotta collapse the fork. Make sure it's down all the way before you do your measurement. Hope I don't spill it again. I already know it's a little bit low, so I gotta. Because it's hard for it's hard for me to see down in there. So what I do, I know where my five and a half is. So I stick it down. I make sure the end is dry. I stick it down to five and a half, and I pull it out dry. So I need to add a little bit more. I just do a little bit at a time. Dry. You just gotta keep doing it to the bottom of the ruler at five and a half inches touches the oil. Still dry. I can see the oil down in there. I just don't want to overfill it. I don't know if it would hurt if you went over a little bit or not. And I think that other one I went over just a little tiny bit. Wet. So I'm at right around five and a half inches.
this is the new spring you see how it's tightly wound on this end and the, the other end is a little bit separated so I'm putting the tightly wound in down first now this is the aggravatum part I don't get it after if it looks like it's going to take me a while to get it I'll probably cut and do another video they give you two washers too you want to pull the slider back up like I said this is going to be the hard part so you've got the spring in there do you want to put a wa the washer that they give you and then your spacer that that you cut where's my other plug there it is this is the part that is a bitch I don't know if I want to get it or not it's hard to get the threads started and here I am I drop shit out every all the 